This is the same pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but the real star today's show is Assetto Corsa Competizione for the Xbox. And I'm playing it on an Xbox One, the original, the OG. I'm not playing it on an S or an X model. The original PC version of the game came out in May 2019 with a rollout that took several months to get to completion. This week, Kunos, the team behind Assetto Corsa, they released the Xbox and the PlayStation 4 versions of the game or sim for the console systems. In this video, it is my intention to compare the graphic and audio differences between the two versions of the game, the PC and the Xbox One. Can what has been perceived as a PC sim even run or play on an Xbox in my case? Can it even perform at the same levels? We will soon see and hear if that's the case. To be fair, let's talk about the conditions that I've set for this comparison. On my PC, Assetto Corsa Competizione runs at 130 frames per second with everything turned on to max. However, the Xbox version is locked at 30 frames per second and we have no control over any video settings whatsoever. And again, I am on an Xbox OG, not an S or X model. So I actually set up my capturing software to capture at 30 frames per second to keep things somewhat balanced or fair. I have also used four of the most common different camera angles while playing to make the best comparison, that being cockpit or driving cam, TV or replay camera, third person view from behind the car or gaming view, and then finally, I use the helicopter view to let you see more terrain. Starting things off with the driving view, I have put a green box around the Xbox version and the PC version is boxed in blue. I will also put up a graphic letting you know which audio is being heard as the video plays. To be fair, when I pause a video, it can create jaggies, blurries, or other distortions that might not actually apply when playing the video through. In a lot of these cases, I'm zooming on features that I've seen while playing the video and pointing them out more for an observation when I play the video again. The picture might not always perfectly represent what I'm talking about. When we pause the video, we can see the difference in some of the details between the two versions. Starting with the BMW bridge, you can see the graphics of the lettering are much more clear on the PC version. You can clearly read it, and on the Xbox version, it is rather blurry. When we focus on the buildings to the side of the track, they both look very similar, with a little more detail being seen on the PC. Then finally, looking at the bushes on the opposite side of the track, you can make out the individual trees on the PC version, but it looks like a continuous hedge for the Xbox version. I will let it play for a while so you can see the running differences and also hear the audio.
I have paused the video again at a spot that will allow you to see some long distance drawing and make comparisons. At about 75 meters from the 50 meter marker, you can start to read the 50 on the sign on the PC version. However, on the Xbox, it's still a bit blurry and unidentifiable. When we look at the edges of the track, the border between the grass and the track, the PC version is very smooth. But on the Xbox version, the lines are blurrier and also have jagged edges. As we play the video more, you can clearly see that the PC version is significantly clearer and smoother. However, as I switch the sounds back and forth, you will hear very little to no difference in the audio. There are also graphical moments that are much better judged on the fly. When in the TV cam, you can see how much smoother the video plays, the lines are clear, and the transitions between colors are also clear and bright. The Xbox is rock solid at 30 frames per second, but the graphical levels are constantly changing just to maintain that frame rate. In this pause shot, you can see that the marbles on the side of the track are more densely packed and blurred on the Xbox, while on the PC, they are more clearly defined. Also, if you look at the track's surrounding area, you can see a difference in the grass as well. Notice how the Xbox, some spots are completely made of sand, while on the PC, you see lush grass throughout space all the way to the track, unless it's been worn down by driving.
After watching from all the angles, after looking at all the freeze frame examples, you can see that it's not even a fair comparison. The PC version is clearly the better looking version of the two sims. In fact, Assetto Corsa Competizione on the PC is one of the most beautiful sims that you're ever going to drive. However, on the Xbox, on the Xbox One, I would say that it was average at best. But again, to be fair, I am playing it on the original Xbox. It could be better on the S or X version. I am glad to hear that they got the sounds done so perfectly well. The sounds to me, I can't tell the difference between the two variations. The sounds are great. Hearing those beautiful cars on track is one of the best things about sim racing, and they did a great job on both versions of the sim. So I hope you've enjoyed this comparison between the two versions. This is one of many videos that I'm doing just in preparation of doing my full-blown review of Assetto Corsa Competizione for the Xbox One. This is The Simpit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track. Oh, <laughs> my